thinking about um, Danish Vlogs video a couple back. She was talking about how she needs um, a bigger and bigger fix with the Whisper videos and how um, when she hears a video for the second time it doesn't have the same effect on her as, um, as it does the first time around. So I thought I'd make another one just for you, Danish Vlog. It's just going to be random. I don't know what I'm going to talk about. So, can't promise it'll be interesting, but <laughs> whatever. Um, actually, I was going to mention, I know there's been a couple videos made um, asking about the first time you realized that you like the sound of whispering or the first time you felt the whisper chills, as they're called. First time I did, I was yeah, I was like probably nine, maybe like eight or nine, maybe a little bit older. Actually, it's funny. Every childhood story I ever tell, I always say I was like eight, <laughs> even though probably a lot of them I wasn't. But that's just the age I remember the most, I guess, from being a kid. It's pretty funny. But anyway, so maybe I was twelve. I don't know. Maybe I was ten. Doesn't matter. Um, I went to summer camp that year. It was, um, one of the, it was like a night, and it was a little, those little cabins where they've got like, I don't know, one, two, three, four, maybe four sets of bunk beds in there, and there's all the campers sleeping in there, and I was, we were all trying to go to sleep, and two of the girls on the other side of the room were whispering back and forth to each other, and also eating corn nuts, <laughs> which may also account for why I think I mentioned in one of my other videos that, or maybe on Whispering Life's Whisper Group um, forum thingy, but that's another sound that kind of gives me the same effect sometimes, not always, is somebody chewing um, like a crunchy food like chips or, you know, corn nuts or um, crackers, well not really crackers, anything really crunchy, um, so nothing squishy and that's gross. I don't really like the sound of that. But if it's just like a crunchy, crackly chewing, I that kind of sometimes gives me the same effect. Um, or even just like rustling in a, in a bag of chips or something like that. Um, but anyway, yeah, these girls were whispering and um, I just remember that that was the first time I felt those chills and just, you know, all the way my whole scalp was tingling and you know, I had goosebumps and my whole spine was just like electricity running up and down. And um, after that, I just realized that I loved the sound of people whispering. And so I would, um, you know, whenever, you, whenever I heard it in class in school, I loved it. And um, like I mentioned, I think in my first video, I used to... Um, I had a friend that we used to like just sit around and read together sometimes and I'd always try and get her to whisper while she read and um, things like that and I can't remember who mentioned it somebody said this and I do the exact same thing or I, I would do the exact same thing before it's like if there was people talking quietly like say in a library or something but not quite whispering or if they started talking louder I would always like shush them and try and get them to whisper again, not because I really cared that they were talking too loud, but because I wanted to hear the whispering. And, um, yeah, so, and now I, I, I hear it less frequently now that I'm out of school and not really in a place where people need to whisper, like the odd time you'll hear it in a movie theater or something. But most of the places that I go, people are just talking normally. And so that's one of the reasons I really love these whisper videos is because it's become so infrequent that I actually get to hear people whispering anymore. And um, although, you know, I have to say, I don't, it doesn't really have the same effect for me, the whisper videos. Um, I very rarely actually get the whisper chills. And so I'm not sure what that's all about because it's very, very relaxing and I still love them and it just makes me so relaxed, but I don't get those same, um, that same sensation of, like, a tingly 
sensation. And I think maybe it's because, I don't know if maybe part of that is um, due to the fact that I'm like kind of overhearing something I'm not supposed to, you know, or people being secretive and, and sneaky, because ten people tend to be sneaky when they're whispering, you know, they whisper because they shouldn't really be talking or they don't want people to hear what they're saying, so they're kind of sneaky. Not that I want to know what they're saying, like it doesn't even matter if I can make out what they're saying, but just the fact that they're, that I'm sort of hearing them being, um, being kind of secretive like that. Maybe that's part of it, I'm not sure. Because in the whisper videos, generally people are, um, talking directly to you, you know, like you're, you're supposed to be listening to what they're saying, so it's not quite the same thing, although it's still very, very relaxing. Maybe, maybe that's part of why I get those tingles, I'm not really sure. Um, but anyway, I still love them, but it's just kind of strange that I don't get the same sensation. Maybe if I turn the volume down so that I can't make out the words, it might be better, but I don't know. I also really like, you know, it's not just about the whispering, it's about hearing what people are up to and getting to know people through their videos, so I do want to hear what they, what's being said, so, anyway, um, and funny enough, I got the sensation the other day at work when a co-worker of mine was, she wasn't even whispering, but she was talking to, um, a couple of my co-workers were talking about, um, just this soap opera that they'd been watching, that they watched together at lunch, and this one girl, she's, um, Chinese, and she's got a very soft voice anyway, and a really, um, quite a heavy accent, and, uh, so the way she talks is kind of, um, I don't know, I think it's cute. I don't know if that's condescending, but I, I just think it's cute. <laughs> and so she was talking about this, um, soap opera, and I guess the other lady had missed an episode or so, or a few episodes, so she was kind of filling her in on the details of what had happened. And she was just talking about all these soap opera characters as if they were real people, like, I don't know, I don't even know what soap opera it is, but it has, like, Stefano and all these different people, and so she was like, you know, and it's crazy soap opera plots, like, oh, they, you know, then they went and got married, but then they realized that they were brother and sister or whatever, right? But she's going on all this stuff, and, and she's telling her these stories like they're happening to real people that she knows, and, um, I don't even know what it was about that whole conversation, but just hearing her talk about that in her voice, and, I don't know, it, it, got, it gave me the same, um, the same sensation, so that was kind of cool, but, um, yeah, I'm not sure what, why, really, um, and I also sometimes get it when I hear people singing, especially if they're singing kind of not that well. <laughs> like, if I hear somebody singing and they're, you know, they can't quite carry the tune, but they're, they're trying, and it just seems very, um, like, I don't know, something beautiful about that to me. Something kind of, um, vulnerable, I guess. I'm not sure. And, uh, it just makes me feel glad that I get to hear it. And I usually get that same sensation when I hear something like that. Um, so I'm not really sure. Bottom line, I don't know why the sensation happens, because it seems to be triggered by other things other than whispering as well sometimes, but... Um, yeah, so there's the whole ten minutes of me rambling about whispering. Hopefully, some, hopefully that's good for you guys. <laughs> videos have been great. I've really liked them. Glad you're back. And, um, yeah, I guess that's about it. So I will upload these two videos and, um, I'll, like I said, I'll try and do the post-secret video shortly. Like, not today, but soon. And maybe I'll do another journal video soon. But for now, I think this will be it. So, um, happy Tuesday to everyone. And have a great week. Talk to you soon.